Good morning. I just wanted to share something from Jeremiah that I read this morning that really ministered to me. I um, was having some lively discussions with my husband. I didn't get to finish my full devotion. I just share that because you know what happens. Sometimes we wake up late. Sometimes we get a phone call. You know, and so I only got to read a portion of my daily reading. And um, it happens, you know, so I will definitely be um, jumping back into my Bible reading um, when I get a moment. But I wanted to share something I did read that really kind of stopped me in my tracks. And it was in Jeremiah that uh, Nebuchadnezzar came. He, he um, gouged the eyes out of the, um, of the Israelite king or Jude Judean king. I can't remember, but he... He gouges out the king's eyes and he does all of this horrible thing, kills all these people. Um, and that's what Jeremiah continually warned them. You know, Babylon's going to come in. They're going to be in captivity for, you know, many, many years. And then there comes that beautiful verse. But don't worry. I know the thoughts I think towards you, says the Lord. Thoughts of good and not evil to give you a future and a hope. And Jeremiah is giving warning after warning after warning. And he even has this one-on-one -on -one conversation with the king. And um, none of them wanted to believe it. None of them wanted to believe that what was going to happen, what God said was going to happen, would happen. So fast forward. Yeah, we're going to go to school. But first we're going to go home for a minute and then go to school. So Jeremiah, the some of the leaders said, pray for us. I believe it's chapter 42, but it's in the 40s. Um, and... Jeremiah prays for them and then they say this this is what blessed my heart so much they said whatever God tells you whether pleasant or unpleasant we will listen and we will obey and so God's word is not you know a self-help book God's word isn't even about me it isn't even about you God's word is about him and so we're going to read things and we're going to study things and we're going to observe things in life that are not always pleasant it's not a popular message, but I love the posture and the heart of these people. They said, we want to know what God has to say from you, Jeremiah, whether it's pleasant or unpleasant. And I believe that that is a good message for us today. God, what are you saying? Speak, Lord, for your servant listens. And I want to listen and I want to obey whether it's pleasant or unpleasant, you know? And so the other day... Um, several months ago actually after everything happened with Afghanistan and um you know just hard things have been happening in our country right the other day there was a shooting in a mall in Idaho and the Lord whispered to my heart it's only going to get worse those are not pleasant words those are not words that I necessarily want to hear but I know that they're true because the Bible is true and Jesus is true and it says Jesus said um, let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Um, and he also says, in this world, you will have trouble, not might. You will have trouble, but be of good cheer. I've overcome the world. So I just want to encourage you to stay close to Jesus. Stay in tune with the spirit. Read the word morning, noon, and night as often as you can. Listen to sound Bible teachings put God's word in your heart that you may not sin against him like it says in Psalm 119 that is my endeavor as well I just wanted to encourage you with that um, reminder from Jeremiah Lord I thank you for this day I thank you that you are in control you are God you are sovereign you are king you are not just king you are priest you live to make intercession for us and I thank you that you are a very present help in time of need. And you walk alongside us, God. You don't leave us as orphans. You don't leave us to flounder and try to figure out this life and navigate this life on our own. You send your Holy Spirit to encourage and comfort us. I'm so thankful for the comfort of the person of the Holy Spirit. Your Holy Spirit comforts us encourages us walks alongside us jesus you're our constant companion emmanuel god with us in just a few months weeks even it will be christmas and we will have celebrations about emmanuel and so we can start now that you are emmanuel that you are 
King of kings and Lord of lords, that you are Jesus Christ, the righteous one, that you are the son of God and son of man, that you are the same yesterday, today, and forever, that you are our king, you are our Lord, you are our master, you're Adonai, you're Jehovah, the great I am, you're Jehovah Nisi, your banner of love comforts us. You you baptize us with your love. You baptize us with all the fruit of the spirit, love, joy, peace, long suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and self-control. And so we just worship you today. We exalt you. We call on your name once again, over and over. The name of Jesus brings peace. The name of Jesus brings hope. The name of Jesus brings comfort because we know what you went through, Jesus. You suffered and died for us. So thank you that you see us sinners worthy, worthy of, of being with you. Not that there's anything worthy in us, but because of your blood and because of the sacrifice and because of the atonement and because you rent the veil in two. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. We love you. We worship you. Father, we just ask for forgiveness of all of our sin and especially anxiety and depression and worry and trying to figure things out forgive us of that God I don't want to try to figure things out I want to trust in you I want to do what it says in the Proverbs trust in you with all my heart and lean not on my own understanding in all my ways acknowledge you and you will direct my path father I pray for Rosie and Rigoberto this morning as Rigoberto is signing up for a residential treatment glory glory and thanksgiving to you that he wants to get clean and that you Holy Spirit can do it in him and through him you can make the crooked path straight Father, I thank you for that beautiful promise, Lord, that you can take a mess and make it into a message, that you can take the broken pieces and make it into a mosaic, a beautiful work of art. So I pray for a total healing and a transforming work in and through Rigoberto. Do it, Lord. Do a mighty work that no one would believe it, that people would say, are you the same man? Just like you transformed Saul and turned him into Paul, Father. And even Isaac. People say Isaac and they say, wow, he's talking so much. He's grown up so much. He's doing so much better. Thank you for your transforming, miraculous work that you do. Sometimes overnight and sometimes incrementally. We'll take it. However you want to work, we'll take it. Because you are a good God and faithful to your promises, Lord. I want to pray for Scarlett and her MRI tomorrow and especially for Jess and Maite as parents. They're nervous for their little girl. I pray that it would go perfectly and smoothly. And also for little Grace as she's having an EEG and MRI. She started having seizures and it's every parent's worst nightmare. But I know, God, that you're going to carry Robin. So I just pray for Grace. I pray over her body, over her brain, over her her um health i pray over erica's health as she will also be getting an mri and a spinal tap in a couple of days um, next week in early november jesus i pray god for um all that you're doing in the church i pray for revival i pray you would revive hearts to quicken hearts to want to read your bible to want to go to bible study to want to be baptized to want to be changed that people would not be christian just in name but that they would be sold out radical transform lord that you would make us like the book of acts that we would um continue steadfastly in prayer in fellowship and breaking of bread and reading your word i thank you for the acts bible study that you have us women and calvary montclair starting i pray for all the bible studies all the small groups that you have all over this nation and all over the world even god thank you for the privilege of studying your word and getting together with other like-minded believers it's a blessing and i'm so thankful father i pray that i pray for um glenda as she's not been feeling good i pray for Annie. I pray for safe traveling for Gwen. Lift her up to you, Jesus. I pray against COVID. Would you protect our bodies and minds and um, immune systems that we would not get COVID, Jesus. Please protect us, Father. This virus is horrible. It's even caused people to fall asleep and die. But I know, God, that greater are you who's in us than he who's in the world, Jesus. I pray for the new, fresh things that you're doing at Calvary Montclair and even in and through my husband. I thank you for my husband. I thank you for Thanksgiving, Jesus, that it's coming so quickly that we wouldn't just say thanks to you and give you thanks, but that we would live in a posture and spirit of gratitude all year long, all day long, Father. This is my story. This is my song. Praising my Savior all day long. 
We thank you. We worship you. We adore you. Thank you for what you've done, for who you are, God. You are our God. You are our rock. I pray for Mindy, my client, who's so stressed out this morning. You know all the details, Father, and I just pray for her. I pray for help. I pray that you would go before her and you would just do a mighty miracle in her and through her, Lord, and protect her children from the evil one. Protect all of our children from wicked, evil acts. Protect them. Shield them, Jesus. I pray for our nation, Lord. Your word says, blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. There's so much wickedness going on. Would you stomp it? Stomp it and stop it, Lord. Stop this wicked deeds from continuing on and instead help us to be still and know you are God that you would be exalted in our hearts you would be exalted in this nation in our churches in our lives in the marriages and the men that we know and love I pray for um Shami and her hand and her wrist and her arm heal her touch her work miracles over her body Lord may she have a speedy recovery that no one would believe it and give her strength and I pray for Eunice that he would not be confused as his wife is hurt right now lifting up all of these things and so many unspoken in prayers of our hearts. I lay them all at the foot of the cross, knowing that you are faithful and you are the yes and the amen. If we have you in our bow, Jesus, we have all that we need. In your name we pray. Amen.